Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I have got a couple of white burgundies in front of me from uh, opposite ends of the region. I've got from, from down in the Maconnais, I've got Puy Fuisse, so I'm finishing with that, so it's uh, the warm end of burgundy. Uh, but starting with the cool end of burgundy, uh, Chablis. Uh, and uh, to be uh, more precise, it is the 2014 Simone Fevre Chablis, um, not uh, Premier Crew or anything like that, or Grand Crew, just regular Chablis. Let's give it a whirl. Classic Chablis. It's uh, rich but lean, if that makes sense. What I mean by that is it's got these slightly rich, creamy flavours, uh, ever so slightly nutty. Uh, it's, it's, the, the wine's picked up some character from the lees, but then there's this crisp, lean side, which is uh, more on the citrus, uh, a little bit of the, the green apple. And um, yes, there's this ever so slight flinty edge in there, or am I imagining it? Certainly there's something there that, uh, uh, that smells ever so slightly stony. Bracing young wine. Um, it really gets your mouth watering. You can feel it up the sides of your tongue. And those similar flavours to uh, what I was smelling. Um, and particularly, yeah, get that really ever so slightly cooked apple. Uh, ripe but crisp red apple. So good Cox's apple. And um, yeah, this creamy length as well. It's um, really nice wine. Uh, second one. Uh, and uh, so this is the Puy Fuisse and a Domaine J.A. Ferret. I do not laugh when you hear the word ferret. Uh, it is not funny. It is the name of the producer. Um, actually, it's the ferret family, I think, uh, Ferre, um, sold it um, a while ago. How long ago? 2008, something like that. So I think it's now, uh, I think it now belongs to Louis Jadot. Oh yeah, now owned by Louis Jadot. Um, so um, yeah, anyway, let's give it a whirl. So this is bigger, richer, uh, but it's still got that uh, almost like a steely glint in its eye. It feels like it's going to have more weighty fruit, a bit, bit more on the uh, light peach, maybe more nectarine edge, a bit of apricot there. Um, and the citrus fruit, it's riper citrus fruit, maybe a touch of orange in there. But then this lean mineral edge as well. Mm, yum. Crisp, um, but fleshy. Um, again, that, that, that lovely tension between those two characteristics like there was in the Chablis. Um, I like the way it's got um, this um, nutty roundness uh, and then this fruit wrapped around it too. Uh, uh, and it's almost like the, the, the acidity in the fruit is just like concealing all that, all that f fat, juicy flesh. Uh, I've got a feeling that if you were to pour that out and let it, uh, let it open up, I've only, I've only just uh, pulled the cork on it, it would open up and get fleshier with time. As it is at the moment, um, uh, straight from a cool cellar, it's looking, it's looking pretty good. Uh, but that finish I'm left with makes me think that it's got quite a promising future. Not, not ages, but uh, good for three or four years. And uh, uh, there's some white burgundies that you struggle to say with that, that with at the moment. But here, um, I would be happy to drink that any time in the next three or four years. Uh, very happy to drink it tonight too. See you soon.